so fake but I promise you it's a hundred it's a hundred percent real but anyway well since I'm cleaning my room and whatnot and I need to go through my shoes for college I thought why not I give y'all an updated shoe collection because I haven't even filmed this video in like so long and I was going through like looking at my most popular uploads and this is my second most popular upload so I thought Dang, like, let me do an updated shoe collection since this is about to go off to college. Now, I already got rid of some shoes that I needed to get rid of a long time ago. I did that earlier in, um, when, um, summer started. So, these are all the shoes that I plan on keeping and, and stuff. The ones in boxes all behind me, then there's some shoes in the closet. Oh, wow. There's some shoes in the closet and then there's some shoes behind this camera that I'm going to show you that don't have boxes because when we was moving into the new house, it was pouring rain and my boxes got messed up. But I feel like this intro is long enough and I explained myself good enough. So let's just hop right into it. But before we do, don't forget to follow me on my social medias, my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. It's always linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I can see what kind of videos that you guys like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe because I love every every each and one of you and i can't wait to continue to keep growing my family with you guys and if you are subscribed today don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you can be notified every time i upload a new video because i upload every sunday and wednesday but sometimes i might have technical difficulties and you guys want to still get the notification if i don't post on one of those days and that's all the tea all the shade that i have for you guys so let's just hop right into the video whoa all right so i might be a little bit off screen i apologize but Let's start with this pal. So, in this, these are a size 3. These are Journey 12 Retros. And these are um, the flu games, I think. I think these are what those were called. I don't remember what half of these shoes are called, but yeah. I love these shoes so freaking much just because they're black and gray. I feel like you could pair them with a lot of stuff. So, I'm just going to stack that box over there. Then the next one, these are also in a size 3, and on the box there are Jordan 6 Retro BP, and the color is black and slash white, cool gray. And then these are what they look like, the 6s, and they're like that. I don't really wear these shoes too much, I probably wear them no less than 10 times, so yeah. The next ones I have is also in a size 3, these are the Jordan 11 Retro BP, and these are the gem, they're in a the color gem red slash black and white. And these are it. I forgot what these were called. I feel really bad. Because I used to be really good at keeping up with shoe names. But now I really suck at keeping up with shoe names. I love these shoes. I probably wore these a little bit. Not over maybe 10 times. But maybe less than 20 times. I love these shoes. The next shoes I have are in size 3, and these are the Jordan 1 Mids PS. These are in the color University Red slash Black Dash White. And these are what they look like. I freaking love these shoes. I bought these shoes around Christmas time for myself to treat myself. Because, like, look at these, bro. There's a blue pair out like this, and I want the blue pair too. But these jinx, these jinx right here, they're butter. You can't tell me nothing about these. These jinx are butter, and I have to definitely cop because they're cute. And I'm a little bit of a sneakerhead, but not a big sneakerhead, but yeah. I love these shoes. I definitely wore these a lot. I've worn them actually a few times. And I even wore them in a picture for my 18th little birthday shoot I did, whatever. Anyway, these shoes, these shoes are in a size 2.5. These are also Jordan 6s. These are also retro. I think pretty much all these shoes are retro. Um, And these are in the shade black slash university blue. So these are what they look like. Uh, they're cute. I wear these a lot because they're, mo they're mainly black with accents of blue. And they kind of remind me of um, Charlotte, UNC Charlotte. So, yeah. The next shoes is in a size 3. These are 12s. And these are um, the olive, olive canvas color and metallic gold. And these are what they look like. They're just olive gold 12s. They're really cute. 
and I love these so much and they match a purse that I recently bought that you probably will see and um, um that you saw in another video which is the first day of school get ready with me here and makeup and outfit so I will link that up below if you guys haven't already saw that but those will really match those shoes a lot then these next shoes that I have are in a size 3 these are Jordans these are 6's and these are shade off right in the room and this is what they look like these are just the maroon sixes. I remember these shoes names. I was feeding over these shoes and I got these for Christmas of my freshman year of high school. Yeah, it was my freshman year of high school I got those. So then I have these. This is in a size two and a half. These are fives and these are the white slash um white in the university red and black shoe. And these are the cement fives. I've got these going into my junior year of high school for back to school. But I love these shoes, but I don't wear them too much because they're white. And, you know, white shoes tend to get very dingy, so I don't like to wear those shoes a lot. I hope those shoes don't fall over. I feel like they're going to fall over. Okay. So the next shoes that I have... The next shoes that I have, these are in a size 2. These are num um, these are 11s. And these are in a white, the color white and white citrus. And these are what they look like. These shoes came out my 8th grade year. No, these shoes came out my 8th grade year going to ninth grade. I got these about to school for ninth grade. I think this is called like the Citrus 11, something like that. <sighs> then the next shoes. Okay. So the next shoes I have are in a size two and a half. These are 11s as well. These are this, um, sh white in the color University blue black. And this is what they look like. Just like the orange ones, except these ones are blue. And this this also that same like UNC, kind of almost like that UNC Charlotte blue from those, um, those sixes that I showed earlier. And yeah, I'm not going to stack that. I'm going to start another pal. <laughs> Then the next ones, I have these are size two and a half, and these are twelves. On um, these are the retro CYNs twelve, and this in a color true red slash true red cell black, whatever. But these are one of the um, coolest shoe boxes I ever got. But it says on the inside of this box, you know, I'm probably able to tell, but it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Then we you open it up, it has this cool pattern, and these are what the shoes look like. So these are the shoes that are in the box. These jinx are butter. My mom actually showed me these, and I got these. I think they was like for um the New Year shoes or something like that, but they're really, really cute, and they're very colorful, and they're very versatile. So you can wear them with a lot of things. Go ahead and put those back in the box. Alright, let's start on the next pal. So, these are not tennis shoes. These are a pair of heels. But these are Jessica Simpson. These are in a size um, 6. And these are in the shade Brilliant Blue. And these are just the shoes that I wore for prom. They're really cute. They have a nice little heel to them. They were really kind of, they were kind of expensive. They were um, $70. They cost a little bit more than what it would usually cost me to get a pair of Jordans. And, yeah, because I have small feet. So, also these is another pair of heels. And y'all, when Payless was um, going out of business, I stocked up on heels. But these, um, these are size 5 and they're white. But these are what they look like. They're just some black kind of heels and they're kind of skimpy with a white. I love these shoes. They're so freaking cute. And I wore them a lot when I got them because I love heels. As much as I love my tennis shoes, I love my heels as well. Ooh. As much as I love my tennis shoes, I also love my heels as well. Like this top, don't want to say it. Mm -hmm. So the next shoes, we're going back to our tennis shoes. These size, these shoes are in a size two and a half. And these are also um tens. And this is in the color white slash concord blue laguna black. And these are what the shoes look like. I think this was called the Charlotte Tens or or, or the Hornet Tens. They were called something like that. 
but I believe these were called the Hornet Tins. And if you can't really see it on camera, but they're kind of iridescent. I barely even wore these shoes. I wore them like at the max five times. But like, it was a shoe that I loved and then like, I just don't like anymore. So, that's probably a pair of shoes that I'm not going to take with me to college because I know for a fact that I'm not going to wear it. Then we, so we back. My camera died. So, yeah, I charged their battery. And, yeah. So, let's move on. So, I have these shoes. These are in a size 2.5 as well. These are Jordan 11s. And these are the black and concord white. These are just the Space Jam 11s. I wore the crap out of these shoes. They need to be clean. And I love these shoes just because they're black and white, basically. So, they're really just as how easy to pair with everything. Next shoes was also in a size 2.5. And, and these are um, Jordan 5s. And these are the rough gray slash black hot lava ones these came out a long time ago i got these for 14th yeah it was for my 14th birthday i got these in eighth grade and these are what they look like i haven't really worn them since the um, my ninth grade year of high school because you know i just don't anyway these shoes are in a size two and a half these are uh these are 12s and these are in the color white slash black light aqua these are what they look like these Johns are um, butter. And the shoes that I really like the most, I really don't wear a lot because they're just that butter. And, you know, and the shoes you really like, you don't want to, like, put creases in them and stuff, you know what I mean? But this, I've, it's just really the color. I wore these, like, I got these this year for school. I was going to get the 5s that look like this, but they were sold out. So I got the 12s and... This is what they look like. I wore these like less than 10 times. If not exactly 10 times. Because they're mostly white. So you don't want like them to get dingy and dirty. Because it, sometimes it can be hard to clean shoes. And then these shoes are in a size 2 and a half. These are 12s. And these are the gem red slash white dash white dash black color. And these are the gem red 12s. These I was in love with these shoes when I first got them. I got them in 10th grade for back to school. And I like them. I don't wear them as much anymore, but I still like them. Like, those are shoes that I would pick up and be like, I am wearing. Then, these shoes are in the two, a size 2.5. And, and these are also 11s. And this in the color white slash white. Um, it's in the color white slash black dark concord. And these are my Space Jam 11s. I mean, shoot, not Space Jams. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't come from my neck in the comments. These are my Concord 11s. I wear them a few times. I don't really wear them like that just because they're white. And I don't like really cleaning my shoes for real. For real. But if, I, if you wipe your shoes off after you wear them every time, you don't really have to worry about cleaning them. But, yeah, I wore those shoes less than 10 times because... They're mostly white, and it's going to be really hard to clean them if they get super dirty. Anyway, these shoes are in a size 2.5, and, and these are also 12s in the color white and vivid pink dash metallic silver. And these are just the Valentine Days 12s. These came out my freshman year. I got these my freshman year, and these were just the Valentine's Day Jordans that came out. I really love these because the... Ooh, that's going to fall. It's in the color pink and white, and pink and white is my favorite. Well, pink is my favorite color, so what can get more better than that? I mean, my nails are even pink, so yeah. Over here, we have these shoes in a size 2.5. These are 10s, and then shade Dark Shadow slash True Red Black. That's what they look like. I think these were called like the Dark Shadow 10s, something like that. I'm not the biggest fan of 10s. 12, 6s, 5s, and 11s are my favorite, which you can see that's mostly what my shoes are. And I love 1s, but only if they're of a certain colorway. But yeah, I believe I got these for my 17th birthday. So yeah. Then over here in this shoe box, we have these Converse, and these are in a size 2.5. And, and these are just these pink high top Converse. I barely ever wear them, but I have them, so yeah. Then over here, I have these classic slip-on bands in the shade Pink Lightning. And this is what they look like. I never even worn these because they're just too big. But 
I'm going to wear, I'm going to try to pair them with something because I really like them because they're pink. And pink is my favorite color as we have already established. I, it's just like because they're too big and they're a size two and a half and I wear two and a half. And I have other slip on vans in a size two and a half that fit but these don't. So I think they lied and said these are a two and a half and look like a three or something. But I'm just going to put some socks on with them. Cause like it's like this much room in there, so maybe if I wear some socks with them, they work. I don't like to wear socks with slip-on pants because then they like too tight. Anyway, these next shoes, these are Adidas. These are in the size two. It's really hard to read the colors, but this is what they is. They're gray, pink, and it's like this turquoise looking color. I really was in love with these shoes at one point, and I bet my mama to buy these shoes. They were like maybe thirty-ish dollars, and probably not even that. But yeah. I don't really wear them too much because like they're like one of those weird shoes but they're like cute because of the color colorway whatnot so yeah so these next shoes those also converse these are in a size two and these are just the typical you know um converse these are just white the low top converse the typical you know next we have bands and these are the black slip-on bands in a size two and a half that fit like a snug. But those other ones just don't. I don't know what it is about it. But this is what they look like. <laughs> they are bent up and stuff because um, I was using these as my work shoes. So I'm going to buy another pair of these. But I can still wear them. They, they're fine. I'm just wear, using them as work shoes. So over time they just kind of like got like that. <laughs> Alrighty, I would trying to close the box and stick to all. In this next shoe box, I have these Nike Karachi ones in a size three, and they're white with the prism pink. This is what they look like. They're white Karachis with some metallic on them, as you can see. They're really nice and they're really butter. And I wonder who's texting me like, why is my phone going off? Because it's currently 1 a.m. If you couldn't tell. Alright, in this next box, I have these Air Max. Go to domes and the size two and a half thing inside and then the shade black slash black metallic silver. And this is what they look like. They're basically like little booties. And they're I when I first got these, I wasn't really a big fan of them, but when I paired these with a really, really cute like throwback kind of 90s outfit, it made me fall in love with them because it just made the outfit so 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 much cuter. Next we have another box of Adidas. These are in a size two and a half, and they're your classic. Black and white superstar Adidas that everybody was in love with in those middle school days. So, my basic self has a pair of the basic superstar black and white Adidas. But I got mine way before everybody else started wearing them. Next, we have Vans. Again, classic slip on. Check the checkerboard rainbow Vans. These are in a size two and a half. And this is what they look like. They're really cute. I got them this year for back to school. Not this year. My 12th grade year. My senior year last year for back to school. Or I got these for Christmas. It's one of those. Really cute. Pair them with anything and, and literally any color because, you know, the rainbow. Next in this box we have these Nike Air Maxes 95s in a size 2.5. And, and they shade vast gray slash vault gun smoke. Some of these color change color names are really funny. But this is what they look like. They're um they're gray, orange, and like a neon green kind of and they have the bubble. I love these shoes and I want more shoes like these. There's like a all white pair. Every time I look to go buy them, they're freaking sold out. So yeah, that's it on that. That's on that. And this next one I keep coming out of frame. I'm so sorry, y'all. This next one, these are Converse. These are in a size two and a half, and these are the red high top covers. I love these shoes a lot. I bought these this year for um, well, I guess last year for the um, what is it called Black Friday, because it was my first time ever going Black Friday shopping. So I bought those. They were like forty dollars with military discount. And then here I have my you know off brand like bands. These were my work shoes that my mom bought for me, and these are in a size. Um, three and they're they were five dollars so those are pretty much all the shoes that are in boxes i have shoes and boxes um over there so i'm gonna bring them over here and show you guys 
So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then after that, I'm going to bring the other shoes that's all behind the camera and show you guys. So yeah. Alrighty, so now that we're back in business, let's go to my Uggs. I have a lot of Uggs. But these are the only three Uggs that are in boxes. Because like I said, when I moved, it was raining. So like I lost a lot of my shoe boxes. So anyway, these first pair of Uggs, I don't have a tag on them. So that's tough. But this is what they look like. The brown, the brown with gold accents on them. And these are zippers. These are in a size 3, I believe. Yes. Yeah. These are in a size 3. I really love these shoes. They're so cute. And I like them because they have a zipper. And they're just cute. I wish I had the picture on here so I could tell y'all like what the picture and stuff said. But there's no picture. So that's the tea on that. And my next box of Uggs. These are in a size 3. And these are the K Bailey Bow 2. And these are in the color girl. So for the longest, I've been wanting some great Uggs. And I got some from... The most recent Christmas, so that's cute. These are what they look like, and they just got the bowls on the back. These are just the simple Uggs. So yeah. In the next box of Uggs, we also have the K Bailey Bow Twos in the in this weird color. These are also in the size three, and these are what they look like. Um, the brown with the light pink, and then the dark pink, and then on the back you have this light pink and this dark pink which is simple really really cute because like i can wear them with either brown a light pink or dark pink and it's going to match so yeah those are all the uggs that are in the boxes and let me just go ahead and get the other shoes for you guys and that way you can see the rest of my shoes and then i will be the end of this video all right so now that i have all the shoes oh my god i forgot to put shoes i'll be right back i'm back i'm exhausted but let's get this show on the road. So, I have these white pair of Birkenstocks. Like, the off-brand Birkenstocks. I got them from Walmart, but, like, they're too, they were too cute to pass up. And they were, like, OD cheap. So, I have those. I'm just throwing the shoes back over there. Then I have another pair of off-brand Birkenstocks. These are blue. They're really cute. That's the tea on that. Another pair off brand broken stocks oh those blue ones were for payless these pink ones are also for payless and yeah and they're all in the size three i believe those white ones are in a size three no the white ones are a size like two and a half three the blue ones are in a size three these pink ones are in a size three throw them back there then i have a pair of yellow ones these ones are from Walmart. These are so cute and I have not yet to wear these since I bought these. Which really makes me mad and kind of like pisses me off because they were so cute. And I bought them because I thought I had stuff to wear them with. But like every color yellow I have is either a shade darker than this. It's like more like a musty yellow. Which just pisses me off but it's okay because I'm going to find something to wear with these. These are in a size 2.5-3. Um, they're in a size 2-3. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So yeah, then I have another pair of off-brand Birkenstocks, also for Walmart. I'm going to buy me a pair of real Birkenstocks, but like, then when I was on a website, one, they didn't have the pair that I wanted, and two, they were like narrow or wide, and I'm just like, oh my god, if I get these and then they don't fit, then I have to send them back. So I'm like, I'm just going to wait till I go to an actual store and then buy them Birkenstocks in person. But until then, these Walmart ones, the Walmart ones actually been holding me over. These are really cute, and these are in a size three i think or two three it doesn't say oh wait yes we do i lied these are in a size three and these were like they were 12.99 they were well i said like they were 12.97 so they were like 13 dollars but they're really good quality next i have these foam posits this is what they look like they're in a size 13 oh my god y'all it this is how i know it's late because i'm talking about a size 13 can't even tell you the last time I wore a size 13. But not for, but for real, these are in a size 2.5. All my shoes are in either a size 2.5 or 3 because, you know, small feet game. Oh my god, that was so cringy. You've been on TikTok too much? Okay, these next shoes are these 
Converse. These are really cute. I freaking love these. My mom bought these. These were a Christmas gift and she bought them because they were cute. Like, they look bulky, but on my feet they're really cute. And I always pray these with my khakis because, oh my god, Asia from State Farm. Whoa. Anyway, these are in a size 2. And they fit, even with socks. But sometimes, you know, Converse run big and sometimes they run small. Anyway, that's the tea on that. Next pair of shoes I have are some heels. It's these white booty heels. They're really cute and I love these. And sometimes when I walk, like, I can, these, because these are thin. So it kind of makes my feet hurt. But these are cute. These are from Christopher, I mean, Kristen Serrano. Um, and these, I got these from Payless. And these are in a size 5. And these were like $20. But obviously, you can't go to Payless and get these anymore because, you know, Payless shut down. Also from the same brand of heels, this is also Christian Serrano. These are in a size 5 and these are just what the heels are like. These are really cute and I like them. I wore them for my rain dance. I believe these shoes are like $20 or $30. Ow! Ow! Ow. I'm so sorry guys. I just like that box over and I really, really hurt. Anyway. Next pair of shoes are Hirachis, and these are these like a nice like um pastel green ish color, and these are in a size three. I don't really wear these too much, but like if I want some comfortable shoes, I would grab for these because you know Hirachis are really comfortable and they're made to be comfortable. So that's the tea on that. These next pair of shoes are Adidas. I got these Samoas. I am, y'all, growing up, I was a big fan of Samoas. Like, when Samoas first came out, I had the black pair and had the all-black pair and all-white pair. And I got them in a size, like, I think it was a half size too big. But I'm like, I wanted the shoes so bad. I'm like, I'm going to get these, whether they fit or not. So, yeah. Anyway, I love these because, look, look at them. Like, they're iridescent. They change colors. Like, i never seen a pair of Samoas like this. So, it's like, I had to have them. So, you know what my mom did? She bought them. So I know. I don't mean to say that in like a spoiler way. That might come off so negative. But no. Because I really wanted them. My mom bought them. And I'm so grateful for her to do that for me. Um, The next pair of shoes we have is some more Kaylee, K. Bailey Bow 2 shoes. Um, Uggs. These are just <laughs> black. You know, this the basic Uggs. I think these, these are actually the first pair of Uggs I got. This is... They're not leaning because I wore them too much. They're leaning because there wasn't in the box or have anything to hold them up. So stuff was like falling on it in the closet like that. So that's why it looks like that. So I need to put something in it like a magazine or something. So they're not leaning anymore. I feel like my, somebody's going to wake up and be like, quit making all that da 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 noise. And I'm just going to be like, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't trying to be loud. Anyway, another pair of K. Bailey Bows 2s. These are in the shade purple. They got black bottoms and they're Uggs. They're really, really cute. But only thing I don't like about Uggs now is because, um, oh yeah, those Uggs are in a 3 and I believe these are also in a 3. Yeah, that's, yeah. The black ones are in a 3, these are in a 3. But the only thing I don't like about Uggs now is that their kids' shoes don't have Uggs on them. And my mom was going to buy me some Uggs. But she didn't buy me any because the kids' ones doesn't say Uggs. And she didn't want people to think I was wearing fake Uggs. You know, because, you know, I don't know. It might sound like, oh my god, you're so spoiled. You don't want to wear a shoe because it's not name brand. No, she just wants she just wants my stuff to be authentic if I'm going to be wearing a name brand. But yeah. But I do love me some Uggs. So the next pair of shoes I have. I want Crocs. I just got these black simple Crocs and I really only got them because my senior year of high school, like everybody was like rocking Crocs and I'm just like, I always wanted a pair, but I'm like, now nah, I really want a pair. So over the summer, I finally bought me some. These are in a size three and I want to get some name thingies for them, but I don't know if I should. Anyway, I feel like this video is getting too long. I apologize that I have so many shoes. The next pair of shoes I have, well, they're not really shoes, they're slides. These Jordan slides. Boom. I don't really wear them like that. These are in a size 3. Uh, actually, I lie. I, actually, I don't even know. Let me check. Let me check. Because I'll, I'll be thinking everything's a size 3 and it's not. See, like, I, these are in a size 4. See, look at me. Lie. 
I got these also Nike slides. They're in the color pink and black. These are in a size 3. Ooh, that almost hit the wrong light. Alright, um, going on. Moving back to heels. These are from um, Alex Flex Comfort. I think that's what it says. A Dex Flex. Anyway, these are just these beige heels and these in a size 5. And then last pair of heels are also by Dex Flex Comfort. And these just these red like satin velvet ones. These are really cute. I have not, I haven't worn these yet because I haven't found anything. But like I wore them like to just walk around in the house. But they're so freaking cute. And these are in a size five and a half. But I love these so freaking much. And if you're wondering what these things are, they're just insoles. So like my feet and stuff don't hurt. And so they can fit better because my feet is a little bit smaller. So like there's just a tad bit of room. Anyway, I have these white slip-on bins. And they're not even white anymore because I don't know if you see my graduation vlog. But I would have that linked up there somewhere in the eye so you can watch it. But um, we did like this color wars thing with like the, the colors with like the cornstarch and it's colorful and then like it stained my shoes so these are my white um <laughs> they're now these are what my white bands look like which i'm not mad because like i could still rock because you know people would do the whole white dirty bands look anyway so i could still rock them so i'm not even mad about that but i definitely gonna get me another pair because i just want like an all white pair of bands and then next i have these slides these are just some jordan slides once again and I'm not gonna, these are also in a size 4 as well. I don't really wear those anymore because, like, now I just wear like my opera and Birkenstocks and stuff because they're like, I don't know, it's just something about them. Then we have some more Converse. These are just like these mint green color. This is what they look like. And I believe these are in a size 2.5. These are like the second or maybe the first pair of Converse I got. But yeah, these are also in a size 2.5. Ooh, that got right in the band. Go me. Then I have these Nike Rochers. <laughs> They're just black running shoes. Like honestly, they need to go go in the trash because the sole. Look at this. The sole is not it. But they're really comfortable, and I really like them. And yeah. All right. The next. Oh no no no! Don't fall! Don't fall! Okay, so next, I have these clear jelly slides. These are what they look like. They're from the blue sh suede shoes. And these are in a size 4. And also, by this company, I have a black pair of furry slides as well. And they're in a shade. Um, they're in a size, size 4 as well. And then last but not least, my recent purchase of shoes are these Nike Air Force 1s. Um, I got them on sale at the outlet. These are in a size 2. And look at these. These drawings are butter. I never owned a pair of Nike Air Force 1s, but these ones I had to cop. These on the string is red and white. This is orange. This is like a neon green. And then the rest of the shoe is white, which I thought was like really, really nice and versatile. And I got these shoes for $26.68 at the outlet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my shoes. And wow, if you guys sit there and watch this whole video, I love you, okay? And I want to say thank you so much for all the support. But I just thought I'd give an updated shoe collection, especially since I'm going off to college. And I'm going to leave some shoes here because obviously there's some shoes I'm not going to wear every day. But I thought since I'm already packing out or moving out for college, that I might as well just show you all the things that I have. So then when I downgrade, you guys can... <laughs> Thank you.